So first I'm going to take a concealer and just kind of prime my eyes really quick. And then I'm just going to take, I'm going to be using the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills today. And I'm just going to take the um, little brush that comes with it and take this first color right here to kind of set everything. start out with a smaller brush so I'm gonna take this crease brush from Real Techniques and I'm gonna start working golden ochre into my crease back and blend with the fluffier brush that came in the palette. I'm not being too careful while putting all of these colors into my crease just because I'm going to clean it up after. just that burnt orange color. So the second shade. And then to kind of like blend this up here, I'm just going back in with that tempura color, the first one that we used, to kind of soften that line a little bit. So now I'm going to go back in with this little crease brush and go into raw sienna and work that a little more in just the crease and not take it up so high. to um, I think I'm gonna take Venetian red now which is the shade and work that even lower into the crease love letter which is this up here take the tiniest bit of this shade right here which is cypress umber and just kind of really deepen the crease so that it looks like I have 
more of a deep set eye than I really do. step is going to be to take a concealer and clean up this down here to make it a little more like that harsh cut crease. So I'm just going to take a little bit of a concealer that matches my skin tone. It's a little lighter, it doesn't really matter. And then I'm going to take just a tiny little angled brush. taking my time to carve that line out and make it as sharp as possible. Concealer, I'm going to just take a small shader brush and kind of mix these two shimmery shades and kind of just create more of a neutral rather than a more gold or more pink. So I'm going to mix those two and pack that on the line. try to keep it as clean of a line as possible. So then what I'm going to do next is just take a small kind of angled brush and go back in with Venetian Red and just kind of blend that just in case I messed up anywhere. And a little angled brush just helps you get a really clean line. Um, I do have hooded eyelids, so when I open and close my eyes, eventually, like, the shimmer will transfer into my crease. That's just part of it. I guess I could have done more of a matte, but I really like the way this looks with the shimmer. And that's all there is to it. Um, so I'm going to do my um, liner off camera along with lashes and probably go out and put my foundation and concealer on. Um, for liner I'm just using a really dark brown just so it's not as harsh as black. 
and then I'll come back and we'll finish up the eyes and the rest of the face. Alright guys, so I'm not really sure what happened to the video quality or why it's looking like this, but I added the pure bronzer that I got in my BoxyCharm this month to the places that I would usually add blush, and then I'm adding the highlight that I got in my BoxyCharm, um, the pinkier tone one just everywhere that I usually highlight, and then I'm really adding it to my nose and my cupid's bow because I really like the way that that looks. And then I'm going to take a little more of the bronzier shade and add that just to the tops of my cheekbones. Um, I'm going to highlight my inner corners and my brow bones with the pinkier shade. And then I'm going to take Venetian Red from the palette that, that we were using and put that underneath my lower lash line just to kind of round out the eye. I'm gonna add a coat of mascara to my lower lashes to finish off the eyes and then for lips, I'm going to use ColourPop Matte X Lippy Stick in Chateau, and then that's it. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe!